safety couldn't be guaranteed. They could avoid being blinded by the light, but being knocked out of the sky was quite possible. The exact moment of release was controlled from the ground. The bomb had been given a parachute to slow its descent and give the crew more time to escape. They did escape, but only just. The plume rose right through the cloud layer and kept on rising. It flattened out when the cloud was 40 miles high. The blast wave was still large enough to be measured on its third passage round the world. Because the bomb was detonated two miles above the ground, there was very little radioactive fallout. But the earth directly below the burst was seared by the intense heat. Rock had been turned to ash. The bomb was four times bigger than anything America has ever exploded. Why something so large? The United States could develop very accurate missiles. The Soviets never mastered that technique very well. And to compensate for that, they really could level a very large area and take out their intended target without having to actually hit the target itself. Aimed at a target the size of London, here's what would happen. The blast wave would obliterate everything in a circle 30 miles wide. The fireball would be 110 miles across, incinerating everything in its path. 